Passive income is a very flashy word that gets thrown around a lot on YouTube. It definitely grabs a lot of attention. However, is passive income really as passive as it seems? And how does it compare to a normal nine to five job? In this video, I'm going to give you my opinion and my experience with passive income to sort of clear up the air and any confusion when it comes to this topic, at least in relation to print on demand. Simply put, the difference between passive income and more traditional active income is that with passive income, your time is not necessarily linked to the amount of money that you're making. So you might take a few weeks off and your income is not really going to be affected. Whereas with active income, which this could be a you know, traditional nine to five job, or maybe it's a more service based business where you're creating websites for a client, for example. So with active income, your time is very closely tied to the amount of money that you're making. If, you, if you're not putting in any work and you're not showing up uh, nine to five, then you are not going to get paid. Now, at first glance, it seems very obvious why people are so keen on passive income and why it's so intriguing, um, why it grabs so much attention. However, the caveat is that with passive income, there is a lot of upfront work. And typically during this period of extensive upfront work, you don't really get paid much and you don't really receive the rewards that someone would get who has gone down the active income route. So as soon as you've got a job, you sort of jump to a certain level of income and you get this consistently. Whereas if you start on your passive income journey, your first few months or even your first couple of years could be absolutely terrible in terms of the income that you're making. So much like an author who might be writing a book for many, many months or even years and developing the story, writing different versions, you know, editing, these versions and then working with the publishing firm to get the book published during this period of initial work and time that he puts in or she puts in, they're not really receiving any reward or any, any income. But once the book is published and people start buying it, and as long as they keep buying this book, the author is going to receive passive income because at that point, they don't actually have to be writing anymore to make money to receive this income from the book that they've already written. And this is actually very comparable to print on demand because what you're going to do is you will create multiple t-shirt designs. Luckily, it doesn't take years to create them, right? You can do multiple a day and some of those designs will never sell. However, over time, you're going to build up a portfolio of regular sellers that will bring you regular consistent income. Like in my case, I've got designs selling for me right now that I created many, many years in the past. I've also got designs that I created just a few weeks ago, a few months ago that are selling regularly, but it's this accumulation of designs that I've created over the years that keeps giving me regular, consistent, passive income. Back in the day, like two or three years ago, when I was creating those designs that are selling now, my income was a lot lower. Right? That was just the reality and the benefit of passive income, in my opinion, is that after those few years of putting in the work, once you have built up the passive income stream, you could technically stop and do something else and the income will stick with you. Whereas with active income, whether it's a service based business or a nine to five job, if you put in two or three years of work, and then you just stop and do nothing for a few months, most likely the income is going to drop massively or disappear completely. Passive income has some kind of sustainability in that sense that is very attractive. It is just that initial upfront work without much reward that is like really difficult to get through. But to be honest, I also think that any amount of passive income is passive income and it is definitely really helpful because at the beginning of my journey, my goal was actually to just cover some of my bills. It wasn't to replace my nine to five job. I thought, you know, it would be great to just get a few hundred dollars a month extra and to be able to cover some of my bills and have that sort of taken care of. Um, then I could, you know, still work a nine to five, but 
just have that regular passive income um, to, to cover my bills and not have to worry about using my wages to cover those instead. And I would just have more disposable income in a sense. So I think any amount of money, whether it's $20 a month, $300 a month or $3,000 a month, if it is passive income, it just has some added value to it. Um, so yeah, I hope that makes sense. Like when, when I put passive income into my video titles, I'm not trying to pretend like it doesn't take any work because that is definitely not the truth. It's not been my experience. Like it took me a long time. It took me like one to two years to, to really see some results from the work that I put into this. And that's the message that I keep trying to share with you uh, to make you realize that even if you see thumbnails or, or video titles on YouTube that say, you know, $800 a day, yes, it might be possible, but it does take a lot of time to build up to that sort of level, especially if you're a beginner and you don't really have much experience. Another few examples or potential passive income streams would be selling uh, digital products online. Affiliate marketing is another good one. Then we've also got um, investing in stocks and you could also consider like rental income, uh, rental properties as passive income. The ones that I know the most, selling digital products online, that is actually fairly similar to print and demand, except that you don't have to deliver a physical product. There's no printing involved and shipping and stuff like that. So uh, selling digital products, if you've never looked into it, is also an interesting um, passive income stream, potentially, and affiliate marketing um, is, is really, really good as well. You could do this through a YouTube channel, through a different social media platform, or potentially through a blog. And the idea is that you essentially promote someone's products or services, and then if people sign up um, through your recommendation, then you, you oftentimes get a reoccurring affiliate commission. And because they're often reoccurring, that's where this sort of passive income stream comes in. Again, it takes time to build this up, but over the long run, it can definitely build up to a good, regular, consistent income. Um, so yeah, again, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, and if you're wondering whether print and demand is too saturated, make sure to check out this video next for my opinion on the topic.